There's a lot of excitement in places like Australia, where I live, in the United States, in Europe, to engage with a rising India. I mean, government and business institutions very much want to see India succeed, and they want to be part of it. The problem is the intellectual class. It's not a broad effort to try to keep India down. It's the intellectual class of intellectuals who study India, who are behind the data that go into these rankings. And those intellectuals, not every one of them, but for the most part, are themselves Indian, of Indian background, or they are people who've lived in India for decades. I looked at these rankings and said, wow, this is so far out of alignment that something has to be wrong here. And in fact, when I started to delve into the detailed data, I, I, find, I found many examples of data that had been massaged or manipulated in order to give an outcome that simply did not correspond to the quantitative reality of India's uh, democratic standing.